I'm going to show you how you can view podcast transcripts on your iPhone. I'm using an iPhone 16 Plus running iOS 18.2 and I'm going to show you how this works. The first thing you might notice is I have a mouse cursor. That's because I'm mirroring my display onto my Mac Mini as I record this and it also makes it easy for you to see my finger taps. Now let's open up the Apple Podcast app. It's already on my home screen. I've downloaded and installed it and Apple Podcasts is free from the App Store. Now let's open up the app and the first thing you'll see as you open it up is a list of suggested or subscribed podcasts. And when you find an episode that you're going to listen to, there is the three dot menus and I can tap on that and that opens up some menu items and the one we want is about three quarters of the way down, view transcript. Let's tap to open and it will provide us with all the text of that particular episode. Now we can listen along, this is from the New York Times Daily Podcast and we can read it and we can also do a little bit of text selection. Now if I was doing this directly on my phone I'd have to long tap to get the text selection open and then we would drag to select the text. But notice what happens if I select more than about three paragraphs. It will cap out my selection. For copyright reasons, it will only allow you to select a small amount of text to copy. Now I'm gonna show you another workflow for handling larger amount of podcast transcript text. I'm gonna be using a different app in conjunction with the Apple Notes app as well. So let's go back to our home screen and let's show you how we can do this with a different app. And this one is also free to download. It's called Overcast. There are paid for options available as well. So let's open up this app and it works in a very similar way. It's a podcast, podcatcher. I've already subscribed to a number of different podcasts. In fact, I imported them using the OPML import tool. Now I'm not going to go through all the nuts and bolts of using Overcast except you've got a section where you can see all of your downloads and you can also automate this as well. And when you've downloaded episodes there is a downloaded section and what I'm going to show you is how we can get the podcast episode outside of the podcast app and share it to Apple Notes. Because the workflow that we need is to get the podcast episode outside of the sandbox of the individual app so that we can embed it inside Apple Notes. So I've got a number of downloaded episodes here. The one I'm going to choose is this deep question podcast from Cal Newport. So I will tap on that episode and that will open up some menu items. And the one we want is the share button and if I tap on share it allows me to share the link, share the clip and export the audio. Now what we want to do is export the audio file and that will open up the share sheet and the reason we want this is it will then give us the option to share this episode into Apple Notes. So let's um, go to where it's got Apple Notes. Now if I was doing it on my finger I would just scroll across but it's still within view so we can tap on Apple Notes and then it allows us to save this to a new note. If I wanted to I could append it to an existing note by tapping on the arrow and then choosing a note in which I wanted to embed the audio into. Let's choose a new note, tap on save and now I've exported that podcast episode into Apple Notes ready to transcribe. The next thing we're going to do is close Overcast ready to complete the transcription process using Apple Notes. So let's go back to our home screen. And I'm going to open up Apple Notes which comes as a standard default on every iPhone. And when we open up Apple Notes you'll be presented with a list of notes and the most recent one is right at the top and that's what we've just made. Deep questions with Cal Newport. Let's tap to open and you can see that the audio is embedded within the note. If I tap on the audio it will begin the transcribing process. Now I found it takes about one minute to transcribe an hour of audio. 
This will work on any iPhone 12 or later, but there are some Apple intelligence features using the Summarize tool, and they will only work on an iPhone 15 Pro, 15 Pro Max, or any iPhone 16. Now this is happening in real time, so I'm just gonna pause the recording for a moment while it completes what it's doing. So it took just over a minute and you can see all of the text of that episode. Now when I um, tap on play, I can follow it. And you can listen to the words and they get highlighted to show your position within the episode, which is really nice. It behaves like subtitles. And you can also tap on any word in the transcript and it will take you to that position within the recording. I was by my producer, Jesse. Notice there's also a summary item. I've already created the summary. This is when it uses Apple intelligence. What I've noticed is it takes about a minute to generate the summary, which I can then copy or share, say to a note taking app. Talking about the whole transcription. I can also long tap on the text to open up the text selection tool and select as much text as I want. Now, because I'm using iPhone mirroring, I'm going to be using my mouse, but it does the same thing. And then you would just drag your finger right down all the text within the transcript. And once you've got to the bottom or however much you need, then a copy button would appear. Uh, on this, I just need to copy it directly. But that's how you can grab all the text, tap on done, and then within your note taking app whether it's apple notes or something else such as obsidian you just paste in all of the text to do with as you will so in this video i've shown you how you can use apple podcasts to view podcast transcripts we also went a bit further and i showed you how you can use overcast to export the audio out of the podcast app into Apple Notes to transcribe. I also showed you that newer iPhones have Apple Intelligence, which can generate AI summaries of the transcripts. And within Apple Notes, once you've transcribed the content, you can listen within the app, but you can also select all the text to do with as you wish, such as copy and paste it in your note-taking app of choice. In the next video, I'm going to show you how you can go further by automating this using Siri shortcuts. And believe it or not, you can use this in conjunction with Python scripting. If you like what you've seen, please comment, please like, please subscribe. Have a lovely evening and enjoy the rest of your day and week. I'll be back in a few days. Stay safe, stay happy, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.